Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Friday the 28th of the 2nd. So, uh, what's in store today? Well, more of the same probably, but uh, we've seen some big old moves here. Let's uh, just have a look at the news first. Um, so, we've got, um, we've had um, uh, Aussie private capital expenditure. I'm on the wrong day. That We had that yesterday. It'd be good if I got the right day in news. It always works best. That's better. Um, so today we've got the German prelim prelim inflation data. In other words, this morning uh, it says all day on the uh, thing on some of these scout um, things, but uh, it's throughout this morning. We'll have different uh, states of uh, Germany um, reporting on their inflation data. That's quite key uh, in the big scheme of things, but uh, it, it comes out a bit haphazardly and a bit time time. You might catch the time right, but it. There you are. It's just a little bit to, to watch for there. Uh, aside of that, it's CAD GDP. Well, that's a monthly figure, and it seems to have very little effect. It has a very short-term effect, I should say, on the Canadian dollar there. And that is pretty much it. We've got some lower keys, some core um, personal consumption numbers coming in and personal spending. So uh, for the US at uh, 130 as well, Chicago PMI at 245. I don't know, those PMI figures might, Chicago PMI figure may give us a little kicker at 245. Um, but uh, I, I think it's, uh, we should be looking forward for a feel for the PMI figures uh, as we run into um, uh, next week there. So uh, for now, um, which we've got a whole bundle of the moon for, for um, where is it coming out? That's next Monday. So. Um, early hours of next Monday. Right, okay, Chinese data, which I expect would be down massively. Right, so, um, let's have a look at the technicals then. So the Euro yesterday pushed up really big day here. Um, often a big day like this will get some sort of a retrace coming off of it. Um, it may be that you don't want to be shorting this retrace. And in fact, but I'm just looking down the time frames here and it's, it's putting in one of those more... Um, like almost like a little wedge at the top there um, we'll see how this forms out I'd like to have, if I was looking for the upside which there may be a continuation of but I'm just a tad wary because of the such a huge move up there um, I would be looking um, really to be buying off something such as the daily pivot um, so uh, but if it, <laughs> Having said that, having a look at the pattern we've seen on this shorter time frame, you've got in a bit of divergence kicking through there uh, in these re recent highs at least. Might be even a bit of double divergence. No, just the one. <laughs> just the recent highs here. Um, and uh, we'll see. But uh, it, it does look like maybe it will run back to towards that pivot at 58 this morning. Biggest moves we've seen for some time in the Euro, um, at some stage I'm sure it'll slow down, but it's good to see a bit of volatility coming back in. Uh, the uh, average true range it slips up, but it pick, it's picking up on the, on, on the prime uh, parts of the market there to a oh, massive 17 pips. It's the best it's been for a long time. Okay, um, that's the Euro anyway. Uh, the pound, let's uh, run through the pound. Pound is still looking, it's a... It's, it's, it has better down days and it seems to be having up days for sure. Um, it it's gets its retraces in, but uh, it's finding it easy to sell. Brexit cloud hanging over and conversations regarding that probably not helping it so much. Um, and uh, well, we'll just watch out for today. We've uh, seen the daily pivot when it's not too far off of uh, running through, uh, running down to its S1. It may just break on through that this morning. We'll see. Um, it does look weak at the moment. Maybe a sell into retracements, but uh, nothing right this moment on the pound there. Dolly Yen, Dolly Yen, also big mover. It's uh, continued this route down, real move to safety here. We're seeing, uh, and we're seeing money really coming out of the commodity currencies, and the euro's benefited, um, and the Canadian uh, and the yen's uh, benefited. The rest, um, not so much. And uh, here we've seen, uh, as I say, another solid move down already, and we're not even much into the day um, from our point of view. Um, it's uh, again a bit like the euro, just consolidating in this lower time frame. Maybe we'll get it. actually, it's not quite like the euro, it's cleaner than the euro, and uh, maybe um, uh, the euro yen might be a, a worth a look, which I'm going to do now uh, this morning. Uh, just have a look at what's going on here. Yeah, so this looks like 
it's got maybe a little bit more more in the tank potentially it's a pivot swing through the Asian session there um, or yesterday session into this morning um, does look like it's uh, slightly the weaker but it's already not run through it's S1 it's heading back down towards the S2 may have more legs in it the, the only thing is it's uh, as I say it has moved quite a long way there but a retracing that may give us an opportunity but uh, I'll keep an eye on the uh, euro yen um, Aussie dollar well that's just been selling um, it's back to expectation really um, Commodity country, uh, company, a uh, company, country, um, providing uh, much of its uh, commodities to China. I, I expect the Chinese slowdown will have quite an effect um, on the uh, on the Aussie dollar. Maybe uh, we we'll see that early hours of uh, Monday morning. Uh, quite bearish as we stand here. Um, uh, we'll see how it runs through. It's, it's so often when you just run through, we may get a bit, a bigger, a bit more of a bounce in it. It's, uh, but uh, they may give us opportunities to sell, uh, leading into Monday's data. Okay, Canadian dollar. So Canadian dollar carries on the shove up there. Divergence still sits in there, and it can can carry on sitting in there. But um, at the moment, it's uh, pushing to the upside. The uh, Saudis have called for um, a further reduction in oil uh, quotas, but I uh, don't think it's going to make too much difference when the prices drop in and uh, Canadian dollar is pushing up there and it's streaming on the uh, RSI here. But uh, any retrace may then provide a um, a further uh, buy of the US dollar versus Canadian dollar. Um, again, choking around here. It's um, but uh, that looks to me like it could just continue. But any, any, as I say, any retraces may be an opportunity to the upside. But uh, not a great intraday currency for me. Okay, um, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, as I say, news-wise today, not a lot. We just got that uh, CPI um, for. Uh, yeah, France, uh, France, German, German yeah, in, uh, data. Um, that's that's about it for today. So uh, the key one this morning and a bit of US data later on at one thirty. Have a great day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.